no, 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 no. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed my bit of a lousy edit there, I just wanted to get some clips together, kind of give a little bit of a montage of the kind of stuff that was happening. So uh, I'm going to try and like debrief how I was able to get so high, and I mean, I'm a good player, but I'm not I'm not insane at the game. So basically, this is this is how I can break it down. So it got to the point where I was at about this is duoing with homie this guy named homosexual he was in the montage and uh so it got to the point where we were at about 4960 and at this point if we won a game no matter what the kills were we got one we got one TRN rating and rating is you get ranked based off of your rating so you you don't really want to confuse the two but if I won a game then I would get one TRN. If I lost a game, I would lose two, sometimes even three, depending on my kills. So it got to the point where the kills were completely pointless, because no matter what, you could get 12 kills or you can get one kill. If you win that game, you get one TRN rating. The only reason kills mattered is if you wanted to, if, I mean, assuming you were okay with dying, you would have to have I'd say six or more kills and have a good placement to not lose TRN rating in order to die. So, in duoing with him, we were pretty confident in our wins, so we actually completely focused on just winning the game. Uh, we used to go for more kills because it'd give us like more ratings back when you got like 30 rating per win, but we had to dumb it down a little bit more. But uh, as far as landing goes, so our ideal landing spot was Paradise. We would we would go there if it was really far from us. It'd be perfect. If it was next to bus, then we go greasy. And if greasy was anywhere near bus, because greasy is a decently popular spot, we would go haunted. So that was our three places. Uh, once we started getting higher up, it was more like haunted and paradise, not as much greasy, just because we were pretty comfortable with those two. And uh, so we just chilled. Oh, uh, we did a lot of boxing round rifts. Sometimes, I mean, you can bash me if you want. I mean, I was winning games. And uh, so we'd usually get a couple early game kills. Most of our games probably end once we were at the peak of our our games. They were probably we were probably ending around six to ten kills, but uh, before that we were getting like fifteen to twenty kills, a lot most of our wins. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. But uh, we would start the early game playing and this, once again this is kind of nonsense. You guys don't even have to watch this. This is just if you guys this is just my personal tips as far as TRN rating pushing. So we started the game, we'd play very safe and together, yet like striking on opportunity, get a few kills, and then we'd just chill through mid game completely, because mid game if you it's not worth the risk of dying. If you die mid game then lose two TRN rating and it's not a fun time. So we'd probably box around a rift or we just do some low key like circle bordering until it got to like top five teams because top five teams is another landmark top five teams is pretty much if you get to top five teams it doesn't know, really matter how many kills you get if you t get to top five teams you will not lose trn if you die up where we were so we would get to top five teams and then from there we could play kind of how we wanted and we did a lot of third partying late game and stuff and got us a lot of wins it got to the point where at the end of the season i think in my last seven days my win rate was like a 70 percent and my kd was like 12 or 13 it's pretty crazy stuff like you don't have to get much kills but if you're winning games you're not dying so your KD goes crazy high but uh so that's pretty much all the tips I have as far as landing kills how you play and I mean most of his experience anyways but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video hopefully this helps you guys push and uh, I'll try and I'll try and put like a little clip of what my TRN rating was at the end of season 5 you can't see my ranking unfortunately anymore 
being that it is now season six. But uh, I was 370th the day before, and then I pushed like four or five TRN rating, which was around the 250 mark. So this is how I got top 250 in Fortnite Battle Royale.